Increasing availability of COVID-19 test kits and updating CDC guidance are the latest efforts to keep the public safe and slow the spread of COVID-19, but there is still more work to do. Dr. Julie Morita, Executive Vice President of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, joins us to talk more about this. And good morning, Dr. Morita. Thank you for being with us. Hi, Amanda. Thanks for having me. Just yesterday, the director of the World Health Organization said that some regions across the globe appear to have passed the peak of this Omicron wave, but he warned that not all countries are out of the woods yet. Dr. Mita, in your opinion, where does the U.S. stand with the Omicron surge? Right. So I think we'd all love to have this pandemic behind us and to have the Omicron wave just over. But I think it's a little premature to be celebrating victory at this point. Uh, what we can see is that in some areas, like in big cities like New York or Chicago, there appears to be a leveling off. But it's a little too early to be saying that, that we're on the decline and rapidly decreasing. So, and, and in addition to that, there's many parts of the United States which are still experiencing really high rates of disease and increases in disease activity. So I think as much as we'd like this to be behind us, it's really not. And we need to continue to do the things that keep us safe and healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, the federal government just launched its website for the free COVID at home test for per household. Is this going to make a difference? And also those tests are not going to be shipped for another seven to 12 days. We, we've learned so much throughout the course of this pandemic in terms of what we need to do to protect ourselves and keep ourselves healthy. So we have highly effective, safe vaccines that are available. We have, we know that mask wearing can make a difference. We know that social distancing can make a difference. We know that washing our hands also helps us to keep safe. So while the t test kits are really important tools that we can use, they're not the only thing that we should be doing. So I'm really excited to see the test kits available because it really helps us identify when we have COVID and make sure that we actually can isolate and the people who've been exposed to us can be quarantined, but they alone are not the key out of this pandemic. They're really one of the many things that we need to do to keep ourselves safe and healthy. And one of those things that we can do to keep ourselves healthy and safe is get vaccinated. But what about children under the age of five that are still not eligible for the vaccine? How do we best protect them? As a pediatrician and a mom, I know how anxious people are about these children that can't be vaccinated. And it's appropriate to be concerned because children do get sick, although they don't get as seriously sick usually as elderly or people with underlying health conditions. Still hundreds of children have died because of COVID. So we do want to keep them protected. And until we have the vaccines, the best thing that we can do is make sure that we are protecting around them, meaning that parents, health care pro providers, child care providers, teachers who care for these children are vaccinated, that the people that care for them are actually wearing masks when appropriate, um, that we actually make sure that they're not going into places where there's a high risk for disease transmission. So really doing everything we can to keep them, self, keep them safe and protected. Uh, we call that cocooning when we protect around the children. Uh, and Dr. Mita, what final message do you want to leave our viewers with as we, you know, continue with our days and and I don't want to say live with this virus because that's uh, that's not giving it, you know, the uh, the importance that that it carries, the weight that it carries. But we must wake up tomorrow and try to stay healthy. That's right. I think we know what we need to do to keep ourselves healthy in the midst of a wave, a peak a peak of activity like we're experiencing right now. So we need to wear our masks. We need to social distance. We need to get vaccinated. And then when the disease rates come down, then we can resume more normal like activities. But for right now, that time is not here. We really need to keep our guard up to stay vigilant and, and try to keep each other healthy overall. Yeah, especially the little ones. Um, Dr. Julian Marita, Executive Vice President of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Thanks for having me.